Hello, it's Jackie, and I'm going to teach you how to make this dinner for less than $10 for a family of five. So I'm showing you my ingredients here. We have cheese slices, just plain old English muffins, eggs, um, oil, and then I pre-cook my bacon. So here I am spraying the oil on the pan. I estimated 1 23rd of a bottle just to get a simple number, but I use this way more than 23 meals, so I know that's an overestimate at 10 cents a piece. I use an entire package of English muffins, that's six of them here, for $1.18. I can normally get these at Aldi for 99 cents, but I did Walmart grocery pickup when I had this meal, so it was a little bit more expensive. And next I am unwrapping six of the slices. There are 16 in a package for $1.48. That works out to roughly 10 cents a piece, so 60 cents for the cheese. And I just layer a single piece of cheese on the bottom of a muffin. So you can make these breakfast sandwiches individually, like frying individual eggs, but I really like to put it in a pan because it makes the process easier and I'm not making six separate sandwiches. However, I'm the only one in my family that can get over how they turn out looking a bit square. So even though I'm showing you this method because I personally think it's the best and it's easier, my family actually prefers if I make six individual eggs and put these together separately but I'm all about easy. So I pour the six eggs beat up on top of the muffins and then you're gonna cover the cheesy egg with your pre-cooked bacon. I like pre-cooked bacon just because I made an entire 16 ounce package and I used um, some of the bacon strips for Zuppa Toscana and then I also used a few bacon strips for barbecue chicken sandwiches that we had. I like to just multi-purpose. These potato wedges are a family favorite. I'm actually showing you the second night we had them in a row because we had that many left over, but it's half of a five pound bag, so two and a half pounds of potatoes, two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of seasoned salt, a teaspoon of onion powder, and two tablespoons of olive oil all mixed together, and then you bake them in the oven. We do about 50 minutes at 425 degrees, and they're nice and crispy. Next, I am slicing up an entire pineapple we had half tonight and half the next night in smoothies, so I'm only counting half the cost. And yes, the top was a little overripe, so we didn't actually use the very, very top of the pineapple. Don't worry, I don't feed my kids rotten food. At least not that often. <laughs> so here are my breakfast sandwiches. I baked them at 350 degrees um, for 50 minutes. And even though I told you that the fries are bake at 425 when I was reheating them I just stuck them in the oven when these were pretty close to done and it just reheated them so again these were a, basically you just need to cook it until your egg is cooked because the bacon's already pre-cooked and if your egg is cooked everything else will be warm enough I can promise you that and here I am taking the fries out of the oven they're nice and toasty I promise you these are so good they're our family favorite and we like to get them nice and crispy now I'm making my plate, I am having very little potato wedges because I'm going to be honest with you, this, we have five people in our family and that sixth breakfast sandwich is always mine. I love the breakfast sandwich way more than I like the potatoes. So I'm making my plate, I'm putting very little potatoes on here and I will probably eat two breakfast sandwiches anytime I make this meal. Both grapes and pineapples were really good prices this week which is why they are the fruits that I've shown. Seasonal and sale items are your friend when you're trying to frugal meal plan. So here you have it, my $9 for five meals, that's under $2 per portion, and my family was very satisfied. Again, if your family wouldn't like the egg baked like this, you can make the eggs individually and then individually make the sandwiches. But I hope you love this idea. Come back next Monday. I will have another $10 for a family of five dinner, and I hope you stick around as a subscriber. Thank you.